guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and this is the first video you are seeing of me my name is Kate hi nice to meet you so it's been a long time since I filmed a video and posted I kind of just took like an unplanned break from filming and doing YouTube for a bit. I don't really like have a reason why I just sort of did. If you're watching my last video, I think it was, or a couple of my last videos, I mentioned that I was going on a trip. I said I was gonna vlog. I'm kind of upset about myself because I didn't really vlog, but I did take videos on my camera of my trip. I ended up going to Italy. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I will have it right here on the screen so you can follow me. I posted some pictures on my Instagram, but but I didn't really vlog just because I was actually planning on vlogging it like I was going to vlog and make some videos but I just kind of wanted to have this trip just be fun for me I mean not that vlogging isn't fun but I just kind of wanted to just like not put everything on the internet I guess because every place that I've went to I've always vlogged it so I kind of just wanted to take this as like a time to myself to like enjoy it and relax and it was very fun it was very beautiful it was probably one of the most beautiful places I have been, I would say that in Hawaii, it was like tied. It was so beautiful there. And if you ever get the chance to go there, you definitely should because it was so gorgeous. So I went to Rome and then I went to Venice and then the Amalfi Coast, which Venice and the Amalfi Coast were probably my favorite. I didn't really like Rome that much. It wasn't my favorite to be honest. Yeah. Hi again. I missed making videos, so I'm back. I'm going to be doing a little fall makeup look for you guys. It's actually really like fallish today. It's like 50 degrees out right now. It's still in the morning. I love fall. Fall is like one of my favorite seasons of all time. Fall and summer. I love them. So let's get started. I have all of my products right here. Usually I have them like all scattered on my floor when I'm filming like this. It's just like annoying to do that and like reach down, you know? So I just have them all right here, which I thought was very convenient. So first off, I'm going to moisturize and I'm gonna use my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I use this all the time. There's like never a time when I don't use this. I mean, I use different moisturizers here and there, but I always have that one on my vanity in front of me so I can use it. What am I even saying? I don't know. I'm just going to really moist, what? I'm just going to really rub this into my skin and make it moisturized and smooth. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Glossier sunscreen. I never used to put sunscreen on my face. Just seriously, put sunscreen on your face every single day, even when it's cloudy. I like to focus it on my nose and like right here because that's where I get a bunch of freckles. And not that I like don't like freckles, but I just don't want like dark spots on my skin. So I like to focus it here and then bring the rest of it all over my face. So that is all in my skin. And now what I'm going to do is add a oil. This is my Sunday Riley CEO Glow Oil. I'm gonna be using this because my skin's been like a little bit dry. I just want an extra glow. So I'm gonna rub this all over my face. This smells so bad. Like that's the only thing I don't like about that is that it smells really gross. I think it's the turmeric. I don't really know what turmeric smells like, but I think that's what it is. And I'm also going to put some eye cream on because for some reason I just like the way that the eye cream looks under my eyes like when I have makeup on. I don't really know why. It makes me look glowy. The eye cream that I use is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my pinky and just go very gently with my ring fingers. I don't know, it just it makes me look so hydrated and moisturized and glowy and dewy and I love it. Do you want me to like zoom you in? I don't know, I hate makeup tutorials that are like, well this isn't even like a tutorial, but I don't like, ow, fuck I got it in my eye. Oh my God. But I like to see like what the person's doing. So is this good? I don't know. I'm not done with my face. I forgot. I'm just gonna add some of this hourglass primer. I have a little sample of it. Last time I put this on, I put like way too much. My face is like really oily. I feel like if I put a lot of primer, it would help so my makeup doesn't like slide off my face. I don't really know. I'm not a beauty guru. So now I'm gonna take my Milani Soft Focus Glow. This is just like a little enhancer, complexion enhancer it's called. And I just like the way it looks under my concealer because it gives you like a nice little glow. Just gives you like a little nice glow to your skin that I really like. So now I'm gonna conceal my blemishes and any dark spots that I have. My favorite concealer is the Maybelline Master Conceal. I've used this for like a year now. I really like it. I'm just gonna put this all over my pimps 
and like around my nose and where I get red because I have like a lot of redness. Also, I've had like a cluster of pimples right here for the longest time and also like a little bit right here. I'm starting to wonder if it's the bronzer that I use. I'll have to test that out because I've been using the Fenty bronzer for like a long time and I feel like ever since I started using that, I've just gotten like pimples in the areas that I put it except for my forehead. So I don't really know. And they're not really like pimples, they're just like bumps. I don't know, I kind of feel like it is the bronzer just because it's like appearing in parts where I put my bronzer. I tried to like look it up to see if anybody else had the same problem, but I couldn't find anything. So maybe it's just me. I'm just gonna powder a little bit because I don't want to look matte. I want this to be dewy. Just like all of my makeup looks. I feel like all of my makeup looks are the same. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore. I used to wear a lot of makeup to school and just like every day. I like wouldn't leave the house if I didn't have makeup on. I was just really insecure about about my skin because my skin wasn't the greatest also i just felt like i didn't look pretty without makeup but now i just like don't give a fuck like <laughs> you gotta learn to love yourself you have to learn that this is who you're going to be for the rest of your life so appreciate what god gave you my friend like there's only one of you you just have to like learn to be confident with that like you're the only fucking you in the world. Isn't that crazy? It took me so long to realize that because I used to be so insecure. I still am. Like, I obviously still compare myself sometimes to others, which is probably the worst thing that you can do. Don't do that. Easier said than done, but that is probably one of the biggest things that helped me is that I stopped comparing myself so much to other people. Don't worry about anybody else. Just worry about you. All right, I'm getting off track. So now I'm gonna be bronzing my face with the Fenty Beauty bronzer. And this is the bronzer that I was talking about that I feel like is causing my skin to get like a rash. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like pimples, but they're like bumpy pimples, like red little bumps. I don't really know. And they're all like right here and like a big cluster right here. So I don't really know what's going on. And I'm really making sure to push it into my hairline because I hate how your scalp is like white as heck and then you can like see the line of your makeup i hate that so i'm doing my best to really push it into my hairline and i also go like over my hair sometimes so it's like really blended you know i'm also going to bring it down my neck Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows with my brow pencil from Benefit, but I'm just going to brush them upward first and then fill them in. I like hate doing my eyebrows because I can't do them. I like suck doing my eyebrows, so bear with me. I really wanna get them like micro bleated because then I don't even have to worry about it. So I just like focus on the tail of my eyebrows and then I do it really lightly in the front. Sorry, I'm like trying to show you what I'm doing and also like trying to look in the mirror at the same time. Okay, eyebrows are done. Now this is my favorite part, blush. I love blush so much. I'm gonna take my Glossier Cloud Paint in Dawn. And if you have this, oh my God, this will literally last you like your entire life because you have to use like the littlest amount because it's so pigmented. I literally don't even have to squeeze anything up. I just like tap the top of it and then put it on. And I'm just gonna use the warmth of my finger to blend it out and you kind of have to go fast because this one like kind of stains it's almost like a cheek stain almost and I'm also going to like drag my finger across my nose so it looks very natural sun-kissed this cheek is like so flushed right now I don't know why it's like hot can you see that okay now I'm gonna highlight my skin using my sunbeam by benefit Some of my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of my Laneige lip mask to my lips. And for my lip gloss that I've been using is my Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. This is very pretty. 
now we are finished with the makeup and oh I forgot I'm not putting on mascara because I have eyelash extensions right now this is the finished makeup that I do every day or that I have been doing for the upcoming fall season I think it's very pretty it's very natural I always do natural makeup nothing crazy so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I will see you guys next time bye